Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back again to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. If today is your first time, please do consider to subscribe, share, and like our videos. We bring trendings, we bring latest and breakings. Share and subscribe if you haven't already. Like our videos, and we do giveaways every month to Nigeria's living in Nigeria to support and encourage them because it is not easy to watch videos from Nigeria. Thank you. So our giveaway of this month, June 2021, is coming up next week. And I will be giving 50,000 Naira on hair. Thank you, my returning viewers. God bless you. So today's topic... So welcome back again, my darling people. So we know no waiting to happen for inside Nigeria. Our Nigeria pastors just they died, like just they dropped dead one after the other. What is happening, God? What have we done? Have we committed any unforgiven sins? Hey, man, no go speak of but do no complaint. We don't commit sins. May you know if you forgive us. God, please have mercy on us, I beg. We cannot question you. Yes, but please, this time we need to question you. Why you can't they kill our pastors? Or why you can't they take them rather? We know say that you created them. We know say we cannot question you. We know if you know say, ah, oh God, what it happen? But this is getting too much. Oh. What is happening? Our pastors just they die one after the other. God knows. Who is the next online? Yesterday, 5th of June, 2021, Pastor Prophet, sin, Prophet, mighty man of God like that, died. Of course, everybody could die, being you mighty or little. But it was really shocking to everybody because nothing like uh, any signs, you know, everything just came on, on our way. Anyway, May his gentle soul rest in peace. This Reverend Stephen Akinola of Redemption Ministries is dead. This one just happened on the 6th of June 2021 at around 8.03 p.m. That is three minutes after 8 p.m. 6th of June. Reverend Stephen Akinola of Redemption Ministries is dead. The presiding pastor of Redemption Ministries, Portacot, is dead. The Reverend has reportedly been in Abuja for his second kidney transplant after spending several months in India for a transplant which didn't work out. This is the screenshot, my people. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Brethren, are you there? When are they listening to my voice? And according to some comments I read, like this one, this one said, at least we know what killed the Reverend. Because many of us know no way thinking Prophet T.B. Joshua. So this comment really caught my attention when I saw this one. The person said, at least we know what killed the reverend. Meaning, it's like this person is indirectly talking to T.B. Joshua and his members. Say that they hide their disease or that they hide their shame or that they hide their whatever. Because nobody thinks today no way thing killed to be Joshua. We only know say okay, it is sick before. Some people call the suspect. Okay, I've been a I've been a 
cardiac arrest, Abina uh, COVID, Abina uh, stroke, Abina blood, eye, uh, high blood pressure. Everybody begin to think because the family never talk what happened, which we know see they no go even talk what happened. The church no talk. Probably maybe the church no even get idea. They don't know what happened. You know, then everybody now just depending because you know Nigerians we like gossip where well, well. we won't know what thing happen. Even if we no go contribute for the barrier, at least we we won't know everything. No, no, now we be no, no. We want to know everything. So this one is really shocking. This one is really heartbreaking. Waiting they happen, and this man, now another senior pastor, just like T.B. Joshua, if I'm not mistaken, please correct me in the comment section because, yeah, I read it. They said the presiding pastor of Redemption Ministries, meaning he is the head, the founder, the daddy Jew. So he is gone. T.B. Joshua, too, was the founder, the CEO, the daddy Jew. He was deleted yesterday, died. This one again. Who is the next? According to one spiritualist, the man said, Pastor of Redeemed Christian Church of God, said the one may come for the pastor, the pastor Doja, can't give unto his son. Say, now him, now he's supposed to die. Now, one, Babala won't I talk that one. Say now him supposed to die. But pastor of Redeemed Christian Church of God, Dojam, Congo given to him Pekin, according to waiting the spiritualist talk. People made the see front, people made their eyes clear, past us. They no need glasses to see see future. If you stand up, you know go see waiting them, go sit down, see. They go see hundred years ahead of you. They say, now, nah, our senior pastor of Redeemed Christian Church of God, Adeboye is supposed to die, not being picking. He passed and gave him picking. Hey, story, story be as he get. We are going to analyze that one on a very good day. I'll bring the video from the very person that unveils the topic. Now, very long video. We go listen together and analyze them. Very, very important. I don't want to make it be as if. Now me, they bring them out from my mouth. So, this is our pastor now, don't die. God, what is really happening? What have we done? Which sin we committed? May they not feel forgive us. We know say Nigeria and sinners, like with a sin, where, 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 where. People too, they sin. See Chinese. They, they create fake rights, fake everything. Their sins plenty past our home. Eh? See America, I mean, and they get guns. They give every, they, they, they make people they die here and there because of the way they don't put guns for everywhere. Eh? I never see the kind of bad thing like this may happen to them. I'm not sure that their sins now don't reach our own. What do we do, God? I beg, God, we need to do one and one meeting with you. May you tell us what in Nigerians don't do. If we don't do bad, even if we sacrifice, make we do them. May our sins for clean. Because we no not understand now why our pastors can't they die one after the other. What have we done as citizens, as country people? Eh? Bikonu, I beg. Everything just they increase so bad for that Niger. Even the sun made day for the country. He high. The sun, he, he passed the one made day for her fire. Everything for the country now, excess. The one may go keep us in, no be excess. The one may go good for people, but deal. So far, so far now we did. Since Buhari even come, say bad, bad luck. Now you follow Buhari come. Bad, bad luck. Eh? See what thing happen for, for, for Benue State. We remember when Fulani has go, go more than 200 people then came for take do Happy New Year for the Benue people. We remember when it happened. Bad, bad luck. Now you follow Buhari come this Nigeria. Ha ha. Kilo day. I be Buhari sign contract with Devon. Say, as long as he be our president, we no go see good thing. Make him carry his own goal. They say he don't die. The dead body may remain for inside so rock. Make his thing worker. We no need them. And then my people want to see this gist. May this young man 
May his gentle soul rest in peace. Can you imagine? Hey, Reverend Stephen Akinola, he just died like that. Senior pastor of Rem, Redemption Ministries. Hey, Alue, me. Kilodi, what is happening? At least, Ion, he age improves more. He died at 68 years. But still be Joshua, 58. 10 years different. My people, may his gentle soul and handsome soul and beautiful soul rest in peace. This is not really heartbreaking for all Nigerians, for all Christians and the body of Christ. All the brethren in the Lord. May we pray, oh, may God keep our pastors for us. This is shocking, breaking, and disturbing. Anyway, my darlings, my lovely people, stay well and remain connected. Stay blessed. I beg, stay connected. Any English may you say, be. Forget this, my Obodo Yubo. Make you help me subscribe and share the video. I love you so much. Bye.